Yeah, I'm fine. I just... I don't feel well. Well, what's wrong? Are you sick? It sounded like you were throwing up. Yeah, but I'm fine. I just... A bit of nausea. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Well, I'll put your dinner in the fridge and you can heat it up if you start feeling better. All right. Thanks, love. Medford Police Department. I want to report an accident. All right. Well, what sort of an accident? There was a woman on a bicycle. And it was dark. I couldn't see her. It was, it was just so dark. I, I just couldn't see anything. The lights thing was scared because she swerved in front of the car. And, and I hit her. I hit her and she was just lying there and she wasn't moving. I understand, sir. I'm going to have to ask you to calm down, though. Okay? Now, how is she? Is she breathing? <laughs> I don't know. I left. <laughs> I just panicked and I drove away and I drove away and I don't know why. <laughs> Hello? Did anyone else see the accident? No, no. Not that I can remember. I... It's just so dark, there wouldn't have been anyone there anyway. Then why say anything at all? What? Well, you said it yourself. It was dark and she swerved in front of you. It doesn't seem to me like there's anything you could have done. No, no, you're not listening to me. I, I hit her and I left. I, I should have stayed. I could have helped her. But you didn't. She shouldn't have been there. What was she thinking driving so close to dark? I'd be asking myself the same thing. I should have helped her. Well, it's a bit late for that, isn't it? If I were you, I don't think I'd mention anything at all. Who is this? Local authorities are investigating a horrible hit and run that occurred earlier this evening. The accident happened on Robertson Road, several miles outside of the Ellison Creek area, where a woman was left to die in the street. Please be warned that the images you are about to see may shock and disturb you. Local police estimate that the accident happened sometime between 7.30 and 7.45 p.m., However, it wasn't until approximately 8 p.m. that another motorist happened upon the accident and contacted emergency services. Unfortunately, the cyclist succumbed to her injuries shortly after paramedics arrived at the scene. The victim's name has not yet been released, as the woman's family has yet to be notified. But... It would have been pretty dark at the time. I hesitate to think anyone would have even been able to see what happened to that poor woman. And one has to wonder what she was doing out so close to dark. I suppose it'd be hard to blame anyone for what happened. Harder still to expect someone to come forward and admit to it after the fact. I mean... Where's the sense in that? Police are asking anyone with any information on this accident to please come forward in an effort to help identify the driver of the vehicle that struck the cyclist.
Can I help you? Are you Benjamin Woodard? Uh, yes. Something the matter? I'm sorry to bother you so late. But, uh... There was an accident down the road a few miles from you. A young woman on a bicycle was hit by a passing vehicle. And she died at the scene. I'm sorry to hear that. There's no easy way to say this, Mr. Woodard. But that young woman... was your wife. the neighbors. What did they want? You know, I can't remember. Hmm. Well, maybe it'll come back to you. Was your ride? It was fine. Just fine. That's good. Hmm. Are you feeling all right? You don't look so well. I'm fine. Just fine. Hmm. 